Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Chris Smith, Shamwell's Guru on the Interweb, and I'm at my desk in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. We're going to have a look here at how to make PowerPoint files smaller for using on the web or for emailing. Um, I'm not, uh, I think PowerPoint's a brilliant bit of software, but I don't knock it. It's, uh, if it needs knocking, it's how people use it. But really, with the Web 2.0 era we're in now, if you're sharing PowerPoints, the best way to share them is to put them on a hosting site like SlideShare and then just send people links. Good email etiquette too. So let me bring in my uh, PowerPoint. <coughs> Excuse me, this is, uh, let's see, what PowerPoint is this? This is PowerPoint. This is uh, the Student Office Home 2010 edition here. And that, so that's that. So let me uh, load a PowerPoint into here, and I'm going to do that by I'm going to drag in here the uh, folder where it is. So I'm going to drag in a, a PowerPoint called YouTube Shambles Guru dot pptx, and this is an important thing to notice the size of it because what I'm going to do now is optimize it to make this the PowerPoint still good quality but a much smaller file. So this is 104 megabytes, a hundred thousand kilobytes. So if I double click on that, it opens up. There we go. That's it. And it's all here. It was quick, wasn't it? It's all down here. There's about 42 slides, I think. And in fact, each of the slides here is not a mixture of text and uh, uh, graphics. It's actually one big graphics because I did the graphics in another program called uh, Fireworks, actually. So let's see how we uh, optimize it. Fairly easy. You just click anywhere on any of the graphics, and you may have noticed that this came up. Let me just do that again. Click out. So click up, and this comes up called Picture Tools. So if I click on Picture Tools, then over here it says Compress Pictures. And in this part here it says uh, Compress Options apply only to this picture delete cropped areas of pictures. Well, I want it to be the whole presentation, so I'll unclick that. Delete cropped areas. Sometimes, uh, you may have done it yourself, is you put images onto a PowerPoint slide and they go over the edge here. Well, with that clicked, it means that the bit that's on it over the edge, it will just remove them. and you, you wouldn't see them anyway. Target output, used for document resolution. If I was printing this, I'd leave it like that. Um, and that's a, a better resolution, but I don't. I want it to be so it's the right resolution for uh, web pages and, it says and projectors, but web pages and sharing over the internet. And that's 150 pixels per inch. Oh, we're not metric. Now, if I go OK, click on OK, and it's it's uh, chugging away there to uh, actually doing it, and it's still chugging away. Is it done? Do you reckon it's done? Looks like it. Let me see. Let me sh save that. And it said shave it. Let me save that. <laughs> save as. And I'll save it in the same folder. I'm going to give it a different name because I want to see if it's sm how much smaller it is than this 104,000 kilobytes. So I'm going to call it YouTube Shambles Guru. And I'm going to write down here um, optimized. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do save. Okay, so let's see. Let me go to that folder. It's under here. It's under here. That's great. Remove it out of the way. So here we are. Here's the original YouTube Shambles Guru PowerPoint, uh, and it was 104,000 kilobytes. Now here's the optimized one. I've just saved, and it's 31. So it's a third. It, it's one third of the size. Of the original. Sometimes you can go down a lot, lot more than that uh, if you've thrown or people have thrown images in which are high quality images, but you don't need high quality images for the web. So now if I was going to share this on the web, upload it, put it into a, a, an online webinar, this would be a much better size to use. And that's it. That's all it is to it. It's not very difficult. Let me move that out of the way. Let's see, let me move this. Uh, splash page out of the way as well because I can't resist saying on shambles up here shambles.net pages school power p 
there's a lot of resources for using classrooms um, for teaching and learning related to PowerPoint um, on here, uh, including one that I didn't want to miss, which was, and it looks like I'm going to miss it, 12 tips for better PowerPoint presentations. I quite like that. Um, the, uh, the comment at the beginning was, there's so many options other than PowerPoint for telling stories. And on Shambles, there's a wonderful area of dozens and dozens of different tools and websites for making digital stories. Uh, so please consider those because they are much more motivating for the students than they are uh, uh, than, than PowerPoint is. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope that's he helpful. Have fun.